Monday, another week starting. Just knackered this morning and I've got up the field and Juliet and Jane have been in here and trashed the place. So it looks awful. Just untidy awful, like there's string everywhere and bits of broken tub that I'd left in here. Well, le left the tubs in here, they're all broken. So I think later I'm gonna have to have a big clear up, bring some bags up and just try and get rid of some of this string. What does everyone do with baling twine? I I have so much of it, I don't know what you do. I just put it in the bin and it seems like such a waste and I see all these things about making hay nets and stuff but I don't have the patience or time for that really but I just wish there was something we could actually do with string. But, yeah, there we go. Not riding this morning, I've got to go to the feed store. Um, it's a bit of a shame because it's dry. I've got a coat on for the first time in God knows how long. So it's quite nice and cool this morning. It's well, I was chilly making the feeds this morning. I actually prefer that to the baking hot. I, I'd had enough of that, so I'm quite happy with the weather this morning. Last full week at work this week. A couple of days off next week, and then the week after that I've got the whole week off. So excited. Exciting things happening this week. Got the vet coming on Wednesday for a vaccination and hopefully doing them with microchips as well. None of mine are microchipped, so need to get that done. Apart from that, nothing else planned for this week, I don't think, yet, so we'll see where it takes us. Yep, so been to the feed shop, a couple of bags there. Also got my broken mountain block in the back, so maybe Jamie can fix it, don't know. But yeah, kind of what my car looks like all the time at the moment. Good morning. It is Tuesday. It is raining. I'm quite pleased about this. Just gonna see if I can roll my my hood back because I'm completely blind at the moment. That's a bit better. Yep, so Tuesday, raining. Kind of pleased about it because we still need rain, obviously. Um hi Juliet. A little bit of a panic last night. Came up, Jane was hopping lame, immediately thinking, oh my god, she's got laminitis, she does something terrible. And what I actually found when I looked in her foot was this was stuck in the bottom of her foot. Now this is a piece of electric fence, one of the electric fence posts, and I think what must have happened is they've broken it off when they've broken one of the posts and I haven't found it in the field because I do clear away any broken fence posts and things. This must have just shattered off and I missed it and it was stuck like that, like a bit of Lego in the bottom of her foot, making a hole and everything. I obviously pulled it out and she was still lame last night. Let me just clean this out a little bit. So you can't even see where it was now, but it was about there, about there. But what I did, you just see a little bit of the putty, just there. Cleaned it all out, put some of Erna's hoof dressing stuff on it that I usually put on when she's got abscesses, and then packed it with putty, which I'm really pleased about. It's still in there, it's not come out. Her foot's got all packed with dirt overnight. She's not lame now either. She's back to her usual sprightly self. So I'm really pleased about that. I obviously spent all of last night dreaming about vets and lameness and abscesses, infection, all that sort of stuff. But thankfully, she is looking much better. Are you getting impatient? Do you want your hay? Shall I stop talking and feed you now? Okay. As it poured with rain all of Tuesday morning, I decided that I was going to long rain Erna in the evening instead because there was some more bad weather due. It also gave me a chance to try out my chest mount for my GoPro. I finally managed to get the right attachment for it, so I thought I'd give it a little go 
and I was really pleased with how well it turned out. I kept like trying to think about where I was pointing it and what it was picking up on, but actually it's got quite a wide angle, so it caught a lot more than I thought it would. So yeah, really pleased with that. Just a couple of uh, shots here of me getting Erna ready for her little exercise session. Now, I was very pleased with how Erna went. However, I do seem to get really fixated on trying to get her to canter on both reins when we sort of do some exercise like this. And I've decided I need to stop doing that. She's had various issues with cantering on the right lead for quite some time now, and she's gonna be 20 next year. I don't think she's gonna come out of that. Looking back now, what I should have done really is got some poles out and just done a little bit of work over poles with her in walk and trot. But you know, hindsight's a wonderful thing. Um, she was very good. She did try her best to do what I asked her to do. And uh, we finished the session on a good note. So I was really pleased with that. the site I like to be greeted with. Two ponies in the wrong place. I've got a battery on the fence at the moment as well so I really don't know how they've got through there but yes what a joyous day. To go and extract them now in the pouring rain. I've already gone through one coat making the feeds. Yes you lot. Not happy. I mean, this is just incredibly frustrating. I don't know if this means my battery isn't working very well or what. It's only been on two days. I'm not feeling this today. Yes, we need rain. Yes, we need rain. I wonder how much it would cost. Post and rail. This, this, oh my god, this fence line here. Because I'm sick and tired of the ponies breaking through it. It's a fence line that is probably always going to be there because it's fencing off trees and rabbit holes, so it's not really safe for ponies to have access to it. I wonder if I just bite the bullet and try and post and rail it, but oh. If I try and do it, it's going to take forever. And if I get someone in, it's going to cost a fortune. I don't know. It would save me a lot of grief, though, let's put it that way. You tell I'm feeling a bit miserable this morning. It's okay to feel miserable. It's only because of the weather and the fact that this is the second coat that I've had on this morning. And it's soaked. And I've got the vet coming today as well. So I'm going to get soaked again then, and then probably later for evening feed. So, you know, a day of getting soaked. Done. Wednesday p.m. Ponies are all microchipped. Let's spin up. I'll show you where it's gone in. So you might want to look away for the next couple of seconds if you don't like things are a little bit gross. It's not too bad, but you can just see there. Basically, just looks like a little rub mark. Basically, what he did was just shave a little bit of hair off, put a bit of lace and anaesthetic in, and then pop the microchip in. All four ponies were very good, except for Saren over there behind Jane who we did last and she had a microchip in fine actually it wasn't the microchip that she objected to but she had to have a vaccination as well which she's usually fine for but I think she must have like a one needle limit or something because when he started listening to her heart which is what they do before they give them a vaccination just to check their heartbeat and everything general health check she swung her bottom round to him and then when he put the needle in 
this little ginger naughty thing reared bolt upright properly upright but luckily Oliver's used to that sort of thing so you still got your injection didn't you didn't actually gain you anything did it no naughty pony so we've all got you know little matching marks on our necks at the moment so we've all been microchipped but yes that's all done now so the law changes on the 1st of October this year in this country all horses have to be microchipped as well as passported so I can relax now knowing that we are within the law which is great obviously it's rained all day constantly and the field is looking quite wet now again but a little bit greener maybe don't know if I'm just hoping but yeah they're all fed I'm gonna go I'm going to go back home now, I've got about an hour's worth of work to finish off and then I'll have an early finish for the evening because it's what, it's quarter past five and all my horse jobs are done which is a miracle so I shall leave them and pray for dry weather tomorrow Wow, remember the little tiny puddle I was practising water with Juliet in the other week that's what it looks like now after all that rain I'll have to see if I can put a comparison photo in after this, but yeah, that goes to show how much rain we had yesterday. Right, so I figured this was an opportunity we couldn't miss. So let's see if we can get in the water. Now Juliet, I need you in the water. Be a good girl, okay?
the downside of doing stuff with water is your pony then decides she wants to roll. Luckily not in the water, but on her saddle. Thanks pony. Look at this. The bridle is filthy now. Pony is filthy. I mean my pony's never that clean anyway. Couldn't get my phone out of my pocket quick enough to get it on video. But yeah, we rolled in all our tack right there bad pony check this out new mounting block amazing thank you very much to Gemma for getting me this after the other one broke the wooden one gave up after years of faithful service and we've got this one Jamie's actually made me a wooden one as well so I feel very lucky very lucky with mounting blocks at the moment um, this one's great though, it's really lightweight, so I'll be able to move it around the field, take it out onto the track to use it there, and also you can use it as a jump ring because it's got little moulded bits for the cups here. So yeah, amazing! morning it's friday thank god storm helen i believe is uh rolled in today so it's really windy up here it's good because it's drying out the field a little bit but no exercising of ponies this morning it's far too gusty i mean obviously now i've started filming it's stopped being gusty but but yeah, it keeps blowing an absolute gale. So I think this morning it will be feed ponies, get jobs done, poo pick, sort hay for later, and then go back home to work because, yeah, nothing else really to do up here. And I'm knackered. The wind's knackering. Yeah, it's not a good combination. Jane! So that's the plan. And then hopefully the wind will ease a little bit over the weekend. Yeah, hopefully the wind will ease a little bit over the weekend and be able to get some riding in. That'd be nice. started poo picking and it started pouring well not pouring but raining that really fine rain and you can see it blowing across the field and I've obviously not got a coat on <sighs> I guess this is just nature's way of like getting us ready for winter isn't it just when I'd spent the whole of last week raining about how hot it was yeah sorry about that everyone I had to take the sound off this clip because it was just so windy, but basically after I poo picked, I also went round and picked up the acorns from the oak trees. Um, I've got a couple of quite big oak trees in my field, which are fenced off as you can see here. Um, however, the ponies can reach over the fence and they do bounce into the main field as well. So just went round with my scoop and scooped up all of those that would be in reach of the ponies and managed to fill an entire scoop. There was just so many of them. Um, there seems to be loads this, this year. I don't know why, they're much bigger and coming down quite a lot earlier than they usually would do. So yeah, I just busied myself for a little while trying to get rid of them and uh, got another two scoopfuls in the evening when I went up again after a really windy day. So yeah, they're really coming down at the moment. Keep your eyes peeled for them, people. On Saturday, we went out for a hack with the gang from next door. So there was me on Erna, I lent Juliet to Megan, and then there was Katie on Sunny, Callie on Velvet, 
and Tabby on Tallulah. This was actually quite an exciting ride as it was the first time that Callie had cantered velvet out on a hack before, which you'll see when we go up Clump Hill. And it's also one of Tallulah's first, well, not a very first time, but one of the first times that she's cantered out in a group as well. So all ponies were really well behaved. We had an amazing time. And when we got back to the field, we had a little play in the pond again. Um, so I'll just leave you to enjoy our hack.